What's up everybody, I'm Thessaly and in today's video I'm going to give you some outfit ideas for spring using mostly my capsule wardrobe pieces. So starting with what I'm wearing right now, this is a beautiful silk blouse from Lily Silk and this video is kindly sponsored by Lily Silk and I'm so happy with that because I think their quality is just A+. plus. It's not the first time that I've tried and I've worked with them absolutely love their pieces they wash and stay very very nice what i love about this particular uh, silk shirt is how wide the cuffs are that's just make it makes it luxurious and the quality like i said the fabric how it falls on the body the movement that you know that comes with it just makes a simple outfit look super elevated now for this outfit what i decided to do is to combine it with pops of black here and there i think that pairs beautifully with this cream color so i have a silk bra underneath which is also from lily silk super comfortable again and i paired it with my chanel uh wallet on a chain which is also black and then some black shoes as well now another great thing about lily silk which is actually a detail but i pay a lot of attention to these details is that you can get sustainable packaging um, but if you want, you can also request a gift box, which is great for Mother's Day that's coming up. Now, getting into the benefits of silk is just a very breathable material. Um, it's very comfortable on the skin. It's not itchy or anything like that. And I myself, I'm a sweaty gal. Sometimes, you know, when you're wearing satin, which is also, it looks similar to silk, but it's completely something different. But satin makes me so, smell so bad. <laughs> and that's what I love about silk, that it's a very breathable and natural material, which it doesn't do that to me at all. Maybe there's a little bit too much information. I like to give you guys, you know, an honest, review and opinion of what i show to you so honestly if you um, struggle with that as well but you want the luxuriousness to look and feel of like a very glossy beautiful material like this honestly give lily silk a try all right y'all in this next outfit i'm also wearing a shirt from lily silk this is another one and here i'm styling it a little bit more dressier this is actually something i wore to the office this week so i got both shirts in a size large because i wanted that oversized look and feel but because of the material it doesn't look slouchy or baggy you know it looks like you know expensive and cool and edgy but still very elevated because you know sometimes silk can be associated with women of a particular age but in this video i'm showing you how you know you can zhuzh it up and also wear it for you know for young or younger group of people as well what i love about both shirts is how the fabric moves with the body it's super flattering and for this shirt you know the daintiness of how thin the stripes are just makes it super elegant now under this shirt i'm wearing this buttery soft bra also from lily silk and when i tell you buttery soft i mean it because this bra you won't even know that you're wearing a bra and those are the best ones right the support is there it's seamless it's stretchy and you can take the padding out or you can add extra padding it actually comes in different colors and i'm going to get the black one because i think it will look super cute just as a crop top as well so yeah i definitely recommend these pieces you can see in my enthusiasm I 100% recommend them. So if you want to check Lily Silk out, I have a coupon code for you guys to give you 15% off. And if you do try them out, please let me know what you think because I love hearing your feedback. All right, y'all, this is how you wear all white in spring. If you've seen my spring essentials video, you've seen that a white t-shirt is just an essential for me, a white jeans as well, and a white sneaker. So I combined all of those three items here in this outfit, and then I'm going to to add my trench coat over it i'm going for this khaki green trench coat from mango and actually before i put it on 
I love this t-shirt from Frankie shop, but it has the shoulder pads. Even though I love the look and feel of the shoulder pads, I don't like how it shows like here, of course, because of the shirt material is a little bit thin, so you will see the shoulder pads underneath it. I do have this uh, t-shirt in black as well, and of course with black you won't see that. But in this case, I'm just wearing my trench coat over it so you won't really see it. And most of the times, you know, depending on where I'm going, of course, but mostly I just keep my trench coat on so you won't see it, but you'll still uh, get the look and feel of, you know, a nice structured shoulder. And to just bring out that white, I want to pair it with my white Shaka Moon's handbag because it's just a beautiful combination of the all white underneath the trench coat and then with the white cute little handbag i think this is such a wearable outfit you know especially if you are into whites i am not afraid to wear white uh, an all white outfit like this yeah it's just very comfortable something that you can dress up if you want to swap out the sneakers for heels for example but yeah this is totally something that i will wear to just a casual saturday evening or date for example all right this outfit right here y'all i'm so into this i put this together on the fly but i'm loving it and that's why i put so much emphasis on getting your basics your essential in order because it makes all the difference here i'm using you know a basic crop top and i think that a crop top like this again is an essential in this color or in just plain white or black you can do all of those different colors with this combination but i paired it with these white leg trousers that i'm so glad that i found these from mango because i can wear them in so many different ways like you you're seeing in this video but also in multiple previous videos that i did here i'm styling it a little bit or very laid back super casual baggy oversized i love that look um, lately and pair them with my white sneakers which are also an essential and then this is where your fun items come to play right this is a jacket that i have from h&m i have had it now for two years probably and then this handbag that I recently got from a Mango, which is a nice pop of color. But I think that this outfit is everything because it's still neutral because, you know, it's the brown and the beige tones. But with this handbag, you take it to another level. So yeah, totally <laughs> in love with this outfit. I'm going to wear this upcoming week because this needs to be shown. Let's put it that way. But yeah. What do you guys think of this? Do you love this oversized baggy aesthetic or are you more into the fitted pieces? I'm curious to know, you know, what my viewers like. All right, y'all, here's another outfit that's not... Well, let's put it this way. Most of the time I pair my jeans with white t-shirts or white shirts, but also pairing it with a blue shirt like this is another way to wear your jeans right and it looks just a little bit different and here i'm pairing them with my more bootleg cut of the jeans but of course you can pair this with your mom jeans as well white leg jeans all different cuts and washes and this is something that i wear to the office because my work is a little bit more casual you can dress up or you can also dress uh, casually but yeah, something I wear to the office, but also if you want an extra layer or your office is a little bit more dressed up, you can add a blazer on top of this, swap the sneakers for heels or heeled boots. And there you go, right? You have another way to wear your jeans and shirts without it being the go-to way to wear the jeans and the shirt, which is usually just a white shirt or a white t-shirt so yeah here again i'm giving you a couple of options to mix and match your essentials now another twist on this outfit is if you take a light knit and wear it on top of this shirt again this is giving you an extra layer but it's also giving you an extra dimension to an outfit so say day one you wear the shirt just like this on its own day two you put your light knit over it no one will know that you're wearing basically the same outfit because it looks different all right so to close up i had to include an outfit which includes my you know most worn favorite pieces a blazer and some jeans 
and here I paired it with this um, striped shirt from Amazon fashion and honestly blue and white striped shirts just screams spring in my opinion so if you already have that this is a great way to style you know your blue and white striped shirts but if you don't have that of course you can also sell this with a white shirt or a blue shirt or black even but yeah i paired it with this oversized blazer that i have from everlane and also my jeans from everlane i love how super high-waisted these jeans are because it just gives you the illusion of bringing in the waist while still you know having a very oversized blazer on top of it i think it's just a cool girl aesthetics and then also a little bit preppy i would say because of the boots these are my most comfortable boots i have to say this is just a very easy breezy outfit that i wear to the office that i wear just casually in the weekends as well because it's just i don't have to think about it just put it on and it looks good all right you guys that's it for this video i really hope you enjoyed this that you got some inspiration of how to combine your essential pieces in different ways and of course if you want to elevate your outfits or get some special pieces that's always welcome and i encourage that but just do that in a very thoughtful way and if you want to check out lily silk remember i have the coupon code in the description box below all the outfits are linked as well yeah i'm curious to know what you thought of this video so leave me a comment and yeah i'll see you guys in my next one next week bye